Now, making petrol from thin air sounds like the stuff of science fiction, doesn't it? But one small British company is proving it can be done. The Teesside-based engineers say the renewable energy can be used in exactly the same way as standard fossil fuels. And as our science editor, Lawrence McGinty, explains, it could help cut global warming too. This could just be one answer to the world's energy problems. A small experimental refinery that since August has produced five litres of petrol. Doesn't sound a lot, but here's the extraordinary thing. They're making it out of fresh air. What we've made so far, I wouldn't want to put in my car, but we've certainly used it in a small engine and it certainly works. It contains all the things that it should do and all the things that it shouldn't have in it aren't in it. So it's a very clean product and it is carbon neutral and we will be able to make it so it can go in a car eventually. In principle, the trick of making petrol from thin air is actually pretty simple. A filter captures carbon dioxide from the air, the CO2 that's the main cause of climate change. That's powered by renewable energy, like a wind turbine. The other main ingredient is water. Splitting that gives hydrogen and oxygen, again powered by renewable energy. Mix the hydrogen and carbon dioxide and you get the gas methane. From that, it's relatively simple to make more complex fuels like gasoline or petrol. Engineer Tim Fox told me the primary aim is not just to make petrol for engines like this one, but to recycle carbon dioxide pollution into something useful. When your car engine uh, burns fuel, it produces carbon in the exhaust. That goes into the atmosphere. If we can collect that uh, carbon from the air and then turn it back into fuel and put it back into the car, then we've created a, a recycling process. And by doing that, we can avoid putting new carbon into the air. Nick Clegg was impressed when he took a look at the petrol they've produced so far. How exciting. But don't rush to your forecourt just yet. The petrol that combats global warming won't be around for at least a decade. Lawrence McGinty, ITV News.